Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on bear flag pennants of a pennant and see some examples. So what is a pennant? A pennant is a continuation pattern in technical analysis formed when there is large movement in a security known as the flagpole, followed by a consolidation period with converging trend lines, the pennant, followed by a breakout movement in the same direction as the initial large movement, which represents the second half of the flagpole. Breaking down a pennant, pennants, which are similar to flags in terms of structure, have converging trend lines during the consolidation period and last from one to three weeks. The volume at each period of the pennant is also important. The initial move must be met with large volume, while the pennant should uh, have weakening volume, followed by a large increase in volume during the breakout. So what does all that mean? How does it all look? Well, I'm going to explain it to you. So a couple things, especially if you haven't, if you haven't uh, seen our bull flag videos, our bear flag videos, or even our um, bull pennant video, uh, this one again is on bear pennant, I've been really stressing to people that pennants are very similar in structure and look to flags and even wedges. Uh, sometimes it's just easier to call something a flag rather than a pennant, right? Like your brain doesn't necessarily think of pennant. Or you might want to see a, a pennant and say, it looks more like a triangle, so it's just easier to say triangle. That's a triangle or that's a flag, right? My point being in all of that is that understand what the pattern is trying to tell you, not necessarily, hey, is that a pennant, a triangle, a wedge, or a flag? Right? Many a times, again, they're very similar. It's important to draw your trend lines as best as you can. Sometimes you can't draw them perfectly. Um, drawing the trend lines can kind of get you a little bit better of a, maybe of a potential breakout area. But, um, you know, the, the pattern's still telling you the same story, right? Like a pennant is still telling you the same story as a flag, right? A, a potential breakout in a stock followed by consolidation followed by another potential breakout. It's telling you the same story. So we just really like to stress this over and over. Don't get bogged down in the terminologies of pennant or triangle or flag or wedge. Look at what the pattern is trying to tell you. Look at other things like volume, confirmation, seeing what's going on, whether the stock's in a downtrend, uptrend, reversal pattern. Those are all the things you want to look at, um, but again, not bog yourself down on the specific definitions overall. So let's take a look at some bear pennants and get some real world examples, right? So here's a stock QCP. As you can see here, there is a flagpole down, not a lot of volume. So that's where um, a lot of times they'll say like uh, it has to be confirmed with volume. Not always. Volume is a huge indicator um, of a stock's movement up or down or breakouts. But a lot of times stock doesn't have a lot of volume or it's relative volume. So it could be also volume relative to the stock. Some tr stocks trade less shares and less volume than other stocks. So again, volume is relative, right? But as you can see here, flagpole down. Then you can kind of see this triangle, this con consolidation right here forms this kind of triangle or a pennant, right? Think of a pennant like a baseball pennant, you know, a flagpole with like the pennant flying in the wind, right? Think of it upside down <laughs> here in, in a bear flag. Um, or like the pennant you would hang on your wall, like, you know, if you're into sports, you know, you hang it on the wall without obviously a flagpole on it. That's kind of what a pennant looks like, right? Kind of this triangle, this pennant formation. So again, you can call it a triangle or you can call it a pennant, whatever you like. I naturally just call it by default a triangle, but uh, again, don't get bogged down in the minutia of it. And as you can see, flagpole down, consolidation forms this triangle or this pennant, and then there you go, broke down, right? So that is a bear pennant. I actually want to call it like a bear flag pennant. Like I was just stopping myself from saying flag because I'm so used to just calling it a flag because that's just how my brain works, right? It's just easier to say. Um, but, you know, again, don't bog yourself down in the minutia. Let's take a look at ITCI. So as you can see here, kind of a, this is where you can see the flagpole could start up here, right? or kind of right here. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky, right? So now, and the definition, it says the, the flag consolidates for one to three weeks. Well, not so fast. It doesn't always consolidate for that long. As you can see here, 
Well, this is kind of five days, so that might be if you want to consider it a week. Sometimes it's less, but as you can see, kind of a flag pulled down, kind of this triangular formation here, followed by a huge drop. Major, major, major drop right there, right? Huge. Um, so that's another pattern. So I like to show, or another uh, bear pennant. <laughs> um, again, I like to show you several real world examples because this is real world. So something might not be completely true to definition of let's say a pennant or a flag, but it's telling you the story. And this is a story telling you there's some consolidation here. Uh, I was kind of heading bearish down. I was failing these moving average lines. And as you can see, huge drop, right? So that is a another version of a bear pennant. Uh, let's look at several more examples here. INFY. Let's see, INFY. All right, come over here. And so, like, depending on how you zoom out, it looks differently. It looks more like a pennant there, but when I zoom in, it looks, eh, it's still kind of a pennant, right? So as you can see, this stock right here drops down. When you have a gap down or a gap, picture a flagpole there. So if it was a gap up, you'd picture a flagpole. If it's a gap down, picture a, fl a, a flagpole down. So this is an invisible flagpole right here. And then you can see consolidation into this kind of pennant formation. And then you can see price fell out of the pennant and kind of fell downwards, right? <clears throat> Bear pennant. Um, let's take a look at PBI. You can see all of my uh, all of my different charts here. Lots of videos for you guys. I'm going to remove the one for the bear pen or bull pennant so it doesn't look so confusing. Again, make sure you watch our bull pennant video. So this one right here, perfect example right here. So this looks so that you see a huge flag pull down right here. Now, when you connect these trend lines. Again, if you don't know trend lines, take our trend line course. Our, actually, our trend lines, uh, we have some private videos for our members uh, in our members only section. So you got to get them as best as possible, but like sometimes they're not always perfect. You can connect from down here. You can connect kind of, uh, you know, multiple different ways. Sometimes it's tough to connect with a lot of these wicks and stuff. So here's one that's a really big uh, drop down, right? Big candlestick down for a flagpole. And then you kind of got this consolidation. It's It was definitely messier, kind of choppy. It's kind of tough to connect them. But you kind of connect these triangles, and you can kind of see big kind of triangle formation. So this is where you can say to yourself, is this a, a symmetrical triangle, or is it a pennant, or is it a bear pennant, right? Because you can look at this and be like, well, that's a symmetrical triangle, right? Now it failed, right? Price failed out of it but it looks like an, a, an, a, a symmetrical triangle. It isn't a downtrend, but it's a triangle. Um, but if you look at it down here, there is a flagpole, so it's like a bigger pennant. But the whole point being, and again, don't bog yourself down, connect the dots, connect the trend lines, very important. See support and resistance, and uh, you can see price kind of fell out of this area right over here. Now you could have came in a little bit closer. So this is where it's kind of tougher sometimes with a stock like this. You could draw them a little bit closer and got in a little bit like closer to the apex point over here before it failed out. Um, but again, that's why real world, this is real world stuff I wanna show you that things are not always perfect, right? This one may have had up to 20 candles. I don't know what this is here, quite a bit. But this bull pennant right here, this little triangle over here only had three, right? Three days. So you can say that's a triangle, you can call it a pennant, I call it a pennant, and as you can see, it broke out over there, but that only took three or four days, not a week to three weeks like the definition shows you on Investopedia. That's why we say don't bog yourself completely down uh, on the details, look at the overall story. XON, <clears throat> so you can see this one right here, uh, let me remove these lines here. As you can see, I'm always charting stocks. And so right here, flag pull kind of down. Another similar one, so you can say this is just a triangle in of itself. There is kind of a gap kind of area here. So you can call it an invisible flag pull. You can call it a symmetrical triangle. You can call it a, a pennant. As you can see, it's falling downwards. You connect these dots. There is a triangle. 
it broke down here. So again, it's not going to always be just a complete flagpole. Uh, again, that's why I like to show you several real world examples, some that look almost perfect. And then you can say, well, I can connect the flagpoles. See, this is where you can, uh, I'll show you something here to make it a little bit easier. You can kind of, when you're doing these trend lines and doing stuff, you can kind of like, if you change the direction of your, uh, you know, your, your lines, they look a little bit different, right? So if I did this and made it go across like right here, it kind of changes the direction of it, right? So this could look like, you know, more of an ascending triangle with a flat top. See how I can kind of connect it here. I can connect, kind of connect it backwards. My point being, I try to show you several different ways to look at it, finding these triangles, drawing these wedges, learning how to do this stuff. So you can find uh, your best breakout or breakdown area. Sometimes it's very difficult on stocks with these, with these crazy wicks. It's kind of tough. Like if you draw them wrong, you might miss, you know, your entry or exit on that. And that, I mean, it happens all the time. It happens to the best traders. But I just like to show you different angles and different ways to look at things because that's the real world of trading. There's so many different ways to look at um, charts and patterns. But many times, again, they're telling the same story, um, you know, with if it might not be a perfect pattern. Another one, very kind of like a, this one's all messy right here. But I want to show you messy. I want to show you real world stuff. Again, you can see kind of a kind of a flagpole down right here, right? And then you can see messy consolidation here. But you can kind of see higher high or higher lows over here, lower highs. So I connected this over here. So you can see kind of like that pennant, that triangle right here, flagpole down. You got this kind of a, this triangle area. Price breaks out of it. Again, so. Do you want to call that a bear pennant? Do you want to call it a triangle? Whatever you want to call it, it does have a flagpole and it does have the consolidation <clears throat> and that triangular formation, right? Real world pattern. So that's another version or a different look of a bear pennant. Let's take a look at a couple more. GPS. And if we look at GPS over here, uh, so you can see this one looks more like a traditional bear pennant. Flagpole down, consolidation to this small little pennant, uh, followed by a breakdown. So now this looks more traditional. See how like I walked you through the different ones? One that looks like, oh, you know, a couple look oh, really identifiable like this, and some bigger ones, and some, hey, is that a, a pennant, is a triangle? Again, real world examples, it's telling you flag pulled down, it's falling, consolidation broke down. This has got easier consolidation to connect the dots. Now I'm gonna really show you something here that might throw you off, but I wanna do this to show you an example, real world, right? Remember I say like a lot of people get confused by um, pennants or wedges or flags? Well, if you changed up the look of this, of your trend lines, watch this. I'm gonna do this. What if I decided to do my trend line like that instead? See right this, flag pull down, flag. So now that it just went from a, a bear pennant to a bear flag, notice that, right? It's all in the kind of the angular and finding the different angular. Sometimes it's tough to get the angles right. Sometimes you can miss them. Sometimes you can connect the dots, but you can see Flag pulled down, bear flag. It still told you the same story. Price broke down here. So no matter, again, many times, you know, sometimes the trend line up top is going to be important. All depends what the pattern is. But sometimes, you know, when determining a bear flag or a bear pennant, it's still telling the same story. It's kind of trying to get the bottom down here for the breakdown. But see, if I just remove that drawing and did that again, kind of connected this area right here, you notice how it kind of becomes a pennant again? I connected from here down instead of that way across. So now it looks more like a pennant rather than a flag. Again, don't bog yourself down. Still telling you the same story. Very, very important. Last one we'll look at, DDS. Another one, kind of messy, kind of choppy, right? Real world. Flagpole down, invisible flagpole, this gap down right here. Now, how do you connect these areas? It's kind of tough. You can have, you have a couple points right here that you can connect, or there's a couple points right here that you can connect, right? So you can connect them both. You could 
you know, connect these areas down over here. It's still kind of forming that kind of that bigger pennant or that triangular. You can see this flag pulled down so you can connect these areas. Price starts to break down here and then break down over here. Again, support and resistance. And then these areas in the future will become critical areas of support and resistance. So very important. Hopefully this helped you. I like to really go in depth. Uh, I don't like to give you real basic examples. I like to show you real world, go in depth, show you what trading's really like, the messiness, the choppiness, the goods, the bads, because that is trading, right? That is the real world of trading. And even though all these patterns, nothing's ever 100% perfect, uh, patterns fail all of the time. Uh, something that can be a bear, bear pennant can easily flip and go the other way. You know, you got to put your odds in your favor. You got to look at the patterns, um, help them to, you know, do proper trading risk management, but nothing's ever perfect. Anything can change at any time.